Hey everyone, welcome back to Decoding Studio and uh, today we are going to cover second part of our React Navigation V5 series and in this video we are going to cover how we can pass parameters through routes and then we will see how we can uh, uh, configure our header bar using React Navigation then header buttons, how we can add a left and right buttons, custom buttons. If you haven't liked this video, please like it and if you haven't subscribed this channel, please do it. And let's get started now. So in uh, last chapter, we have already uh, created a project where we have two screens, home and profile. And uh, as you can see from a short smurf, I can redirect to account screen, then uh, I can get back from uh, uh, account to profile screen. So here we were navigating to account screen. So now, in, now we are going to discuss about how we can pass parameter uh, from one screen to next screen. That means like you can pass a data from first screen to the second screen. So how we can do that? Let's see. So basically, uh, first parameter to navigate function is uh, the screen name and second will be uh, object of parameter. So let's say I'm going to pass a name and name will be decoding studio. Now uh, you, we are passing uh, this name parameter to account screen. So now we'll see how we can receive that uh, name parameter inside account screen. So here you're using a, a function component. So props will be here and inside props you can get a name. So name will be props dot uh, route params dot name so in a uh, react navigation v5 uh, they have changed the way of getting parameters and previously it was something else but now uh, you are fetching your parameters like this you, you will get all the parameters in this object params so i'm going to add one more text name and now I can use this name in this screen. So let's refresh it and uh, so now I'm passing a name here and you can see decoding studio is a parameter here you can see. Uh, the name is uh, like we have passed from uh, this screen decoding studio and we are fetching here. Yeah. In same uh, you can add uh, more uh, like id 101 then <clears throat> title something like this string title and same you can access from here title Let's refresh it and you can see title here as well. We are passing a title from here so you can fetch it this way. And uh, using uh, uh, ES6 destructuring features so you can uh, uh, destructure name and title from here as well. How can you can do that? Let's see. So simplify it. Um, inside uh, this you will get a route and inside route you will get uh, mm, params and inside params you will get name and title so you can see you can add uh, everything in a single line so let's see i'm going to change the title from uh, d studio and refresh it and you will see D Studio. So this is all about uh, how we can pass a parameter from one screen to next screen. So now we will see how we can configure the header bar. Uh, let's start. So for that we just need to open our uh, uh, stack navigator and inside that uh, stack inside a screen we can we can pass one more para uh, one more props uh, named as options and it's totally optional but uh, if you want to uh, 
uh, configure your header bar and you just want to add a title and you just want to change the title then you you have to pass that op option parameter here so inside option parameter you you have to pass an object and inside that object you can pass title to change the title uh, i'm going to pass decoding studio so now now you will see mm, this is a decoding studio basically uh, previously it was a profile it will pick uh, if you didn't pass any options here then it will pick this name profile but now i have passed options so it will pick this custom title decoding studio this is how you can change the title of uh, any screen if you want a static title basically and uh, now if you want uh, pass a parameter and uh, use this that parameter inside our header so i'll now you will see how you can do that for example in previous video we have passed a uh, name uh, decoding studio here so now we are going to use this parameter inside our header bar in this account stream so let's see how you can do that so again uh, we have to pass uh, option options prop here and inside uh, uh, options you can uh, you can have a callback function and inside that callback function you will get uh, your route I remember in uh, in previously you have uh, we have discussed like how we can uh, fetch uh, uh, param parameters from uh, your previous screens uh, using route. So you just need to return again object and inside that you have to return a title. And now we'll use uh, parameters. So to fetch parameters, we have to do params dot uh, name inside name we have passed decoding studio and uh, uh, let's see if i click this then it will show a decoding studio so now it's uh, fetching a title of account stream from uh, uh, from a uh, routes parameters let's change this name to uh, decoding and you will see it will change here as well uh, decoding so this is a you can uh, use a parameter in the title now we'll see how we can uh, uh, update our title so you are in this uh, if you are in this profile screen and on this button click basically uh, in this button shoot smurf click i'll update this profile so let's see how we can do that so for that uh, we have a uh, set options uh, method uh, from a uh, navigation so i'm going to uh, comment it out because on the click of uh, short smurf will change uh, this profile title navigation so for that you can use a set options and uh, inside set options you have to pass a object of uh, uh, object and inside object you can update so previously it is a profile and uh, now i'm going to change it to uh, updated profile let's refresh it and uh, on click it's changing the header title so for that you can use a set options you can uh, change uh, styles of uh, header title uh, as well so how you can do that or you can change the header style as well so how you can do that let's see for that uh, again you just need to pass options inside option pass title maybe you don't want to change the title so you can change the header header style so you can use a header style like this and uh, you have to return a style object so you can change the background or whatever you want to change uh, I'm going to make it a uh, blue, uh, sorry, black. Uh, six. Let's see, and you can see the header background color is changed now. So you can change a header title as well. So uh, how you can do that? You can do that using header title style, and again you need to pass a. Mm, whatever you can pass a uh, color 
so you can change the color of uh, title i'm going to use a white color and let refresh so title uh, color is changed now so this is all about how you can configure header bar in react navigation v5 now in this video we will see how we can add a uh, buttons to a header bar that means uh, we we how we can add a uh, uh, button here in a uh, left side of header bar and right side of button bar, uh, header bar so for that uh, uh, we have uh, uh, header left and uh, we just need to uh, pass a, a return of you know a whatever uh, react component you will return that will be visible here so we need a button then uh, we'll use a button here like button from uh, uh, button from react native so button and uh, we just need to pass parameters to this button for example uh, we can add a title so uh, it will be visible here so title will be a left and uh, on press of this button we will uh, display a alert and will display a left button click and let's refresh it and you can see left and here you will see left and uh, instead of button you can add a image button if you want a uh, arrow back arrow here so you can add a, a image whatever you whatever uh, component you have, you want here then you can uh, return here and it will be visible here same as the header left you can add a mm, header right as well header right sorry uh, basically uh, header left and uh, yeah you can uh, write a an object so uh, you can write a header right as well here header right and same as header left you just need to return a button here or you can add a return a text here as well and uh, it will be a, a right so let's refresh it and okay it's showing okay so we haven't import this text so we just need to import first from react native and refresh it and you can see a right here so how that's how you can uh, add a button to this header bar so this is all about uh, for this video and uh, uh, thanks for watching uh, please like share and uh, comment to this video and please don't forget to subscribe this channel as well